Hey everyone, so if you are a uh, B.Tech fresher, a fourth year graduate or a MCA third year, right? So this video is definitely for you. But before starting, I would like to introduce myself. So my name is Pradeep Kumar Saini. I hold around 16 years of experience in backend engineering. Currently, I am working with Z Entertainment as a senior engineering manager. I have created this particular video for freshers. Uh, you can say uh, it's a uh, complete experience or you can say a framework for the engineering freshers, right? So uh, guys, uh, before watching this video, please subscribe my channel and watch the video till the end okay so let's talk about the framework so my first point is career planning so what do you mean by the career planning so whenever uh, you uh, so initial btec two years or like uh, first year is basically we went through a proper uh, uh, pcm type uh, study right so basically when we went into the uh, third year or, or fourth year then we actually got into the interest here I would like to go for the back end front end or something like that right so when you three year third year or fourth year mein aate hai, then your planning start ho jana so it is quite essential for you ki you have to plan or you should know your interest planning is the key before going into any direction second is nowadays since second point is problem solving so nowadays uh, there is a highly competency exist lot of uh, fox basically started uh, doing solving the problem on a platform like uh, Jig for Jigs, Lead Code, uh, Hacker Rank, Code Chef, right? So these are the platforms available in the market. So I would like to suggest uh, you can start with the easy problems, then go to the medium and then go to the hard ones. But you don't need to solve all the problems. You have to be enough smart to pick the problems from the internet or Lead Code or you can choose any platform, right? The third one is continuous learning. Guys, you know, continuity is the key. Let's say if I talk about, uh, let's say if I will do, I am putting one effort and if I am cubing it or let's say 1000 time it, that means the value should come one. But putting a very small effort like 1.01, .01, now I am squaring it or cubing it or let's say doing 1000 time of it or let's say 365 times it so small effort has changed the value you can understand the entire change so you can understand the small effort like 0 0.1 has a huge impact that means uh, baby baby steps or small steps can change the entire planning the entire uh, way forward for you so continuity is the key the next fourth point in the framework is build projects building projects is very essential because when you when you are in btec third year or fourth year you definitely do some projects uh, either it is related to back end or front end, uh, but uh, specifically you have to build projects. It's purely depend on your key interest. I would like to suggest do small POCs on different uh, fundamentals. Uh, specifically, I would like to suggest if you are a back end developer, then definitely choose. Uh, uh, some SQL and no SQL database and if you are a front-end 
developer then you can do uh, exercise or you can build POC on Angular and ReactJS framework, right? The next item is seek mentorship and increase networking. This is very, very important nowadays because without mentor, I have seen a lot of graduates who uh, who are potential candidates who are basically uh, good one but they don't have the uh, basically proper guidelines side right? so you should choose a mentor who can guide you who can assess your skills who can give you the feedback where you are lacking what actually you need so LinkedIn is the interface where you can improve your networking and uh, choose one or two mentors so that uh, and do one-to-one -one session right so it would be great for you uh, and uh, definitely it will increase your chances for the getting into the companies or maybe into the for the internship right the next point six point is stay curious curiosity right so if you have if you are a developer and you don't have a curiosity then uh, it's a big problem because it's purely the thing why when and what right so analytical skills are completely required so uh, curiosity is the thing uh, which i believe essentially is required right so stay curious right the next point is that that is the seventh point open for the feedback so once you choose the mentor then definitely uh, you you should be flexible for the feedback not a rigid one right so if uh, uh, let's say if you are in uh, you are preparing for the good companies either for the uh, fan companies or maybe some startup whatever you want what 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 kind of interest you have but you should be open for the feedback because if you are open for the feedback then you can do a better preparation you can do you can solve your problems or your lackings easily right so you should be open to feedback and one and last that is soft skills development right it's very simple since you are a very good problem solver you are a very good coder and you have very good basic fundamentals but you can't present yourself you can't speak yourself that means something is wrong there so in soft skills i would say communication or presenting is the one thing but at the same time you have to learn how to uh, first how to give respect how to fit into a particular team how to be a good team player right so these are the soft behavioral skills you can get on right so guys these are the basic eight fundamentals which i covered in framework i hope this is my first video uh, i am open to feedback please watch it thank you bye